Hey, JV Samo coming at you from the basement and uh, playing some acoustic, getting ready to do um, some overdubs on something for somebody. And um, there's a beautiful uh, new Murphy Lab aged Southern Jumbo uh, banner logo from Gibson. Beautiful guitar. It's got a rosewood side, so it's 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 it sounds more Martiny than Gibson. Beautiful guitar. guitar um yeah i mean i used to i used to play bluegrass every night uh with the don kelly band and uh i cannot do what i watch did um me and guthrie trap shout out guthrie's on vacation in spain um i hope you're having fun out there buddy uh we were talking once uh just in amazement of how like you know we would play stuff at ridiculously you know, fast speeds, bluegrass tunes at just crazy BPM. And uh, we would do it, you, know, you do it every night for months and months at a time. And in our cases, years at a time. Um, and you get to a certain point where your muscles are in just such peak shape that it's like you, you, you just immediately, uh, like it just comes out. Like you don't even have to like work that hard. Like it, it just, it, like we, I remember us talking about how uh, uh, we'd be like doing our, our grocery list in our head while like doing, you know, like just crazy, you know, I can't do what I once did. That's for sure. Um, but I still have some of the facility left and uh, the, um, uh, I get to play it every once in, once in a while. Most of the time when I play acoustic, it's uh, in a more uh, blues or country blues sort of a thing and, and when I play acoustic live which I do from time to time I usually use sound hole pickups like this this is Curtis Novak's new Diarmin, which is really good and I love the Galetta pickup that Eric Galetta makes that Rod Cooter uses but yeah playing uh you know like RL doing stuff like that and then also you know like lightning you know i love lightning hopkins you know Anyway, 
I just love picking, having fun. It's a great guitar, so, and it's only going to get better. It's just breaking in. So, uh, anyway, lots been going on. Um, uh, played a marathon of a bunch of gigs here in town with some buddies, um, and uh, got to play the other night with my with my old friend Luther Dickinson. Um, and God, did we have a great time! So much so that we got some stuff in the works. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a good time. I cannot wait. I am incredibly excited about it. And love you, Luther. He's down in uh, New Orleans right now. Love you, buddy. You psychopath. So uh, uh, anyway, that was really fun. And I played uh, a gig with my old friend Tim Marks and, uh, um, and Bruce Gutridge. And then last night I played with Austin John, which was a lot of fun. Played some blues with him. I love when I'm home playing with my buddies. It, it's uh, me and Luther were talking about that. That it's just I didn't used to do it as much, um, mostly because I was gone all the time. But man, I just <clears throat> musicians got to play, man. Like you have to get out and play. Like you, you, no matter what level you're at, it's like you have to play. Um, it's how you maintain what you got. It's how you grow. It's how you continue to evolve and get better. And um, Something that I was really that I was really taken with this week, um, in particular, is um, how like I can play either similar material or in some cases the same material with different people, and what that pulls out of me, um, how different I play with certain individuals. Um, on di on different instruments um but like it was it uh, you know the other night playing with luther luther and i hadn't played together for a minute <clears throat> and um it was just uh uh noticing what what it was what i ended up doing not in a egocentric way of like oh you know like focusing on what i'm doing i'm just saying that like noticing as it was happening <clears throat> the things that I was tending to sort of let out in response to what he was doing um, and how it's different than stuff I would play with anyone else. Um, and um, and the same goes for other people I work with a lot, Robbie Crowell and, uh, and Joe McMahon and, um, you know, chemistry, just how, what, what, um, what a magical, special thing that is. Um, and, uh, man, you know, it's just like playing with Luther in particular. It's, it's, it's just so effortless for us both. Like we've been talking about it. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's weird, you know, because sometimes when, um, you could be paired with amazing musicians, like just incredible players. Um, but like you might not have instant chemistry with, 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 with them, you know, and how, um, how weird that is, you know, that, um, you know, there's certainly been times where I've been paired with, with people that I love and, and think play great, but like, it, but it was, but it, it took effort on my part to sort of play with them and like compliment what was going on. And then there's other people like Luther that, I mean, we get together and play and it's like, there's no effort whatsoever. It just happens. It's just natural. Like we, you know, we're never gonna, we're never gonna be on top of each other. We're never gonna do the same thing. We're never gonna like, kind of like, like uh, step on each other. It's a magical thing. Um, so anyway, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to doing that. There's so many great projects in the hopper, but working with Luther is gonna be a blast. So, you all want to see me and Luther play, do something together? <clears throat> I know I do. I know my missus does. Um, she loves Luther. Um, he has that effect on the ladies. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, it's been a really busy week. Going to have a, a nice little um, weekend with the family. I'm um, going to make some make some some food here in a bit. Gonna make, probably gonna make some jambalaya. One of my main dishes. And, um, 
Uh, and then next week, uh, the trio tour starts the fall tour. We start in, um, we start in Little Rock. We play Little Rock and Tulsa, which I can't wait. Tulsa is one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, <clears throat> play Tulsa and then Fort Worth, Texas, Houston. Can't wait to come back to Houston. Um, and then, uh, Albuquerque, Phoenix, my old hometown. Um, and then uh, Denver and Lincoln, Nebraska. So, uh, and then there's other dates. There's a handful like Chicago and Minneapolis and I think Kent, Ohio. And there might be one more or something like that. That's, uh, that we're doing in November. That's part of the same, you know, like me, Thomas Banks and, and Adam. Um, but nonetheless, looking forward to it. I really hope you'll join us. Please come out and have a good time. We're going to be playing a whole host of material um covering a lot of different bases and it'll be a good time i just it's always it's like a it's like a little getting together with the boys and just having fun oh, it's just such a good time so anyway get some uh ticks now at uh simo.fm slash tour or just google it it'll come up um <clears throat> and uh yeah there's other uh I've, I had a meeting this morning with some of my people and uh, I've got it on the screen, on my screen here and just looking at all the cool stuff that's coming up. It's gonna be fine. <clears throat> anyway, um, I'm trying to think uh, uh, from a, a music standpoint, I've been listening to a lot of Nina Simone this week. Um, Y'all listen to Nina Simone? Um, God, she wrote great songs, and her the tone of her voice is just so unique and sexy, um, and strong, and oh, it's just so good. Anyway, I've been listening to a lot of her, and uh, uh, <clears throat> I haven't been I haven't had time to read this week, so I haven't been reading this week, um, which I'm missing. Um, uh, as far as uh, things that I'm watching, uh, I've been, uh, I actually, because I was playing with Luther, and it's funny because Luther said he did the same thing, like he watched a bunch of YouTubes of me. I watched a bunch of YouTubes of him over the years and um, uh, playing in lots of different capacities. And uh, um, the uh, man, the record that the Black Crows made at Levon's Before the Frost, with Luther, that is a special project, man. That was some really strong music and just everything about it was really, really cool. Um, and um, the Up and Rollin' record that him and Cody made a, uh, just a few years ago is, uh, God, it's such a great record. It's probably my favorite. Um, North Mississippi All-Stars record. So, Anyway, sorry, I'm talking. I'm talking about Luther. He's just on my mind. We've been talking constantly, and I love you, man. I love you like family, truly. So, uh, anyway, that's what's going on. I hope everybody's good out there. I hope to see you out on tour, and um, um, and uh, appreciate everybody uh, sending sweet messages, and um, I just I, I really appreciate it. You're really sweet people. So hopefully I get to see you soon and uh, lots of cool announcements coming up. So with that, work out, work out your fingers today and um, keep it greasy. Love you guys. Take care.